long time know this angle. Thank you for hanging in there with my latest videos that are kind of comical. It's what I want to do ultimately, you know. And truth makes the best comedy. Um, just look at my necklace here and trying to see if I can even see it. And what the problem is. Hmm. Well, maybe I should just design something to hook it in. Uh, yeah, it needs to, I can fashion up a clasp or something. Anyway, and um, we could do a little astrology together. How about that? Pardon me while I grab the book. And uh, yeah, awesome. Sometimes I get I get kind of harebrained, right? Mercury conjunct Uranus, but uh, so uh, look at. I mean, how about that political atmosphere, right? Mercy, oh man, you know it's. It's a strange world, you know. I, I hope nothing tragic or horrible happens. So let's look at um, at the end of the month here. We have, it's on the 27th that I'm making this. And I didn't put a, a video up on the 27th. Um, not yet, anyway. I've got another half an hour. It's 11.28 on the 27th here. And we just had um, Mars go into Gemini, like I said. And then... Um, well, we have Jupiter and Gemini, so that means that Mars is going to be conjunct Gem uh, Jupiter. And people with Mars conjunct Jupiter, uh, they are they could be bodybuilders, <laughs> or or they they are they are bodybuilders. You know, they're kind of, they're there's something about their physical expression that gets pretty darn um, um, robust and big. You know, like Jupiter. You know, so it's a big blow up of the that and it being in Gemini is kind of very, uh, boy, yeah, it's a very um, mental energy in the air um, with this when it happens, we'll, we'll look at the date here, is when it conjuncts Jupiter is, uh, it'll happen, at, I think we already talked about this, but uh, it's in August, 16 degrees, and so going into August, you know, um, well, we do have Mercury going into um, um, Virgo just today, and it's going to see Mer Mercury is at home in Virgo, and that's a problem solver. Um, our communications are going to probably be, uh, probably be um, trying to solve problems or, or really looking into things. So, but what happens, well, we're going to have a Mercury retrograde on the 6th. And so it's like, really um, check out all of the, your vehicles, I guess. Um, look at your me mechanics, you know. Um, yeah. You know, you can kind of prepare for um, some things because you might have to repair, really. Um, but that's just the nature of the retrograde of Mercury. Everybody knows that. But see, it being in Virgo, it's particularly um, apt to really solve a problem. So it's through communications this could happen. And everybody knows uh, we have... It going retrograde, okay, so it's going to go back into Leo, and before it, see, there's a spell there, it's kind of interesting that it's, um, it's hard to tell what the, that's about for me intuitively to, to, to think about it, but it does conjunct um, the sun, it's looking like it gets really close to the sun, but anyway, um, the main thing, just to, I'm looking at aspects here from here on out, like, I guess we should do it for this 
coming week. I don't know. How are you doing? You know, I'm um, going through something. I, there's a lot more frequencies in the air, not just the sun. But Elon Musk keeps sending up the Starlink um, satellites, which is like, what, the 120 um, satellites that you can see them going over the sky. And I happen to see a whole bus of them. Um, one day, and it wasn't a good feeling when I saw it. You know, you try to intuitively look into it and think, oh, yay, we get to watch movies. <laughs> I don't know, babe. So I, I hate to always think the worst, but pay attention to how you feel and everything. You know, if you're super sensitive, I mean, for sure, for me, babe, babes, um, I'm being targeted um, a lot. Uh, I, uh, if you're a higher vibrational frequency being, if you can um, maintain it and control your own vortex of literal energy, your, your literal magnetic electrical frequencies, then um, you can kind of roller skate around it, you know, do figure eights around it, is what I mean. Um... So there's things I, I need to do to um, get away from it. But some places, you bet, the reason why those um, machine, that machinery is put up there at such the mass of the mound is to create this grid of security looking in on, on a level that is not just cameras. Um, I was trying to explain, I think, once before. It's very sci-fi, too, if you've ever watched... Planet of the Apes. Yes, um, putting uh, invisible fences in areas uh, energetically, you know, people, they're doing it to the rural areas, basically. And, uh-oh, I think I should um, erase a few things here. Pardon me while I just interrupt. I know it's a weird subject matter, but um, it's increasing. And uh, particularly... In the United States, here on the West Coast, where it's like, phew, they've got oceanic um, experimental sites that is always perfecting itself on um, war machines, maybe you can call it, but they're always just experimenting on the population with their um, immense amount of crap, to tell you the truth. The, you know, the chemtrail planes are, and there's also chemtrail um, warships, ships that stay on the ocean and they do all kinds of stuff with the salt water, the water in general, you know, shooting it up in the air. And those things are so loud that if they were on, I don't like to think about it, you know, I don't like to think about it because, you know, it does disturb, it disturbs the um, wildlife here. It disturbs the, the, the oceanic life and we wonder you know you want to know um you know what what uh, is this ever going to stop what has the permission to do this why do we have to put up with it in the first place you know what i mean and uh having said that good luck sean like good god aren't, aren't you doing something else in life don't you have where's your husband you know where's your husband where's your what do you do for a living? You know, that's the thing. You know, aren't you, um, you know, come on now, do your art at least? Yes, of course, I do my art. I've been wanting to play my guitar here. See, I'm looking at videos that it's like, can I not post these videos? I kind of slow down. And it's one of the things I was going to um, talk about before I put, before the next video goes up, but I just watched it and I think it's hilarious. But so, um, yeah, I'm kind of doing comedy nowadays with the, the Leo planets. And this one is totally off the charts, right? Nobody's going to like this one. But thanks for liking anyway. Um, but anyway, <laughs> there's two types of likes, right? You just hit the button and then there's a real live like. Um, there's three likes. If you really, really, really... Ooh. Maybe... All right, so no, there's squares to Saturn with Mars going into, with all the 
planets in Gemini, we have a square with Saturn. And Mars will be squaring Saturn. Oh, wow. Look, there's a... Hmm, uh, yeah, the, it's while um, Mars is square, it is conjunct Jupiter. It's going to do a nice square with Saturn. It really will. Uh, the exact square to from from to Mars and you know whoa you know it's now let me um think about this now this is war um energy like if um we have a, we we are worried about war well there is strategy in the air uh, with the Mars square to Saturn and then of course well it it blows it up we have Jupiter square Saturn at the same time. And that's financial stress, if you ask me, you know, it's 100%. I, I just kind of went through it. It's Jupiter. Well, I'm still, I'm, I'm used to it, you know, but I'm, I'm a, a, it's beyond stress. It's called crippled, you know. <laughs> you know, where's my uh, address again? I put my address and it's like, if I can just take it a little bit more seriously, then somebody else will. Um, but I don't suggest that people send it from overseas, even though that's just, mainly who's offering to do it and I understand why is because we don't have money here in the United States none of us do it, yeah I think it's evacuated and yeah I think the place is evacuated why I'm still here is a terrible um, thought for me anyway I'm thinking am I too late to just get out of here pardon me while I just empty out a few little frames here because uh, they will um, stop my brilliant video. How do you like this one? Well, hello. I was worried that maybe um, I had a bad attitude in my last videos or even that it was as boring as hell or really let's get into how scattered it could get. And that's exactly what this one is. You know, um, Everybody wants to hear about their narcissist, right? They, they want to hear. Um, now, what does the Mars square to Saturn do for us? Well, when does that happen? Uh, now, when we look at the moon, there is the, the full moon, I think. No, it's the full moon. We have, it, it, that means it would be in, in Aquarius. And so, no, I'm, I'm jumping ahead, but I think it's more like the new moon. Yeah, the new moon is, well, it's on the 4th. So I'm just jumping ahead there. No, but we do have this um, peculiar Mars conjunct Jupiter, and then it's square Saturn. Okay. Oh, and then, oh, it's looking like two that we have. Venus will be getting entangled with, uh, with Mars a little bit there. We have a bit of a, of a, of a, of a we're going to experience some, some I kind of live with it, you know, being a little bit too critical with the Mars and Virgo thing. I mean, Venus and Virgo. But it, see, now it's going to be in the air and then it's going to square um, Mars. And it's peculiar because uh, at that point, you know, Venus will be Mercury ruled and then we're looking at Mercury going backwards in Leo. There's going to be some intense, like, uh, I, I, the word backfire wants to come into mind but it's, uh, it wants to communicate something and so but and it's going to do it a little bit um, like it's going to start out in Virgo here on the 27th like I'm trying to do now did I get anywhere oh god does anybody get anywhere um, through words you know really we need to start being more present um, that's for sure when we're talking about Mars I'm Mars ruled and it's best to be present. Um, our microcosms, that's what comes into mind here, um, experiencing how that we still just have a steady um, Taurian, the Taurus vibration that says, you better learn how to focus on what's convenient, um, your body. You know, your body, how do you feel? Take radical self-care. It's practice, and it, not only just because it's a great life to do that, but something may happen. You see that Mars 
square to Saturn. I'm telling you, that's, um, well, what si sign is it in? Well, it's in Gemini. It's highly strategic. Okay, so this is Mercury ruled, and then we have that Mercury going backwards. And see, there's a some kind of um, detailed strategic thing happening that, that really needs to um, be paid attention to, really. I would, we should advise everybody to... to um, pay attention to the communications that are around you, for sure. Uh, be very careful of um, how um, we are using words, I guess, right? <laughs> but mainly, don't let them use you, you know, right? Uh, by no means does it ever change in this, on this plane that um, actions do not speak louder, and we do not we, we we aren't um setting aside the fact of resonance being more effective than any um than um any random word said you know there's a there's resonation it's, uh, yeah and but it doesn't mean that when you say water now you're wet or something like that you see what i'm saying it's um different completely different um Phenomena, and I keep getting insights early in the morning that I need to get back on here and, and record. It just comes up with the um, Mercury types, you know, and uh, it's, it's good to, to be of that type that would um, is willing to contribute if we have any of our faculties together. Um, it's good to... Uh, put it out on the line like a little cartoon you know here we are and it helps some people think I, I just you know it's like massaging the brains and there's a lot of that happening I mean think of the the Mars conjunct Jupiter expands this Mercury ruled situation it's Mercury ruled it's a Mercury ruled Jupiter and then the Mars is there and then it squares to Saturn you see that's in the air it's like uh, discipline. There's discipline, it comes to mind. Um, but because of this strange place that Saturn is in Pisces, uh, I imagine, okay, so um, it, it's really going to temper down the vigorous amount of communications, like like how scattered it can possibly get with the expansion of Mars, the Jupiter hitting Mars in Gemini, it, and blowing it up in, in, into like um, just amplifying and looking at it, what is being communicated about what communication through what, you know, it, it's it needs to be um, tempered out of the air you know there's a lot of air and uh, the ocean comes up there's oceanic um you know we have to look at that see because uh later on it's going to be squaring neptune neptune going backwards now and there's a level of clarity that's disturbing i'm sure to a lot of people that have the neptune directly squaring their planet or if they're a Neptunian person, with Neptune going backwards, it tends to cause a lot more clarity with a, a lot of the, see, because there could be a lot of fogginess to a lot of things. And it wasn't, it just kind of, it was, a, somebody messed up a, as far as the political parties here when they're trying to do the, whatever they're doing um, with their Hollywood act. See, a lot of people are catching on to it and, See, the thing that comes up more and more, and I'm part of it, you know, I use words and we look at words and we're very mental and everything, but there's reality. You know, it's like, it's time to get into our body. There's where, um, even though, yeah, I have um, Mercury in Virgo, it's in Earth. And that, you no, know, the main thing for that saved my ass is, I, I think, is the Aries rising, even though, no, I have some, none of it saved our ass, by the way. You want, to, you want to transcend it, you know, you want to, love is the only answer, you know, it's like, what is the answer to all this, like, it's such a detailed bunch of shit, 
No, it's for transcendent transcending. It's called transcendental meditation, where you're just going to go through the life of experiences, and there's infinite amounts of possibilities, right? And, but you're going through a th certain path, and that's your transcendental uh, experience. You, you're just kind of going through it, and believe it or not, kids, you know, it's kind of like you just, well, been there, done that, and you keep going ahead, you know, and uh, after a while, you know, a Buddha might see the whole pattern and say, well, what's the big deal? Take a deep breath. Do we have to get lost in the entire illusion of 10,000 things that we could possibly do with just one single thing? Maybe that was the whole reason why I, I filmed this one. This film is just for that one little ramble. And having said that, thank you very much. Um, you know, just prepare ourselves. The Mars people, for sure. I mean, I've, I've experienced it. In fact, I have a mild square um, Mars. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, to um, Mars square um, Saturn, sorry. Which is, it's, it's the symbol, it's the sign of the war general. They, you know, it's a tempered Mars. It's not going to be too, like, impulsive because there's a, it's Saturn there saying, stop, you know, yeah, be careful, you know, of that. You know, if it's aspecting you exactly, you've got to look at it. What degree is it, Sean? Well, I said it was at 60 degrees. Um, 17, blah, 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 you know. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, with the Leo sun over there. It's a big, be careful with people when they're they're driving around and stuff. Um, more DUIs or more like um, tickets, just ticket happy. Um, it, well, I don't know why that comes to mind, but it, we have a lot of Mercury, Mars, Mercury ruled Mars and uh, Mercury ruled, even the Venus will be Mercury ruled. And then we have a Mercury um, going into, and so, you know, there might be problem solving in the air and it's not a bad thing to um clear out the bad traffic or whatever like just to to uh, try to stop people from drink, drink, drunk driving anyway god what a weird subject matter flying off over there um it's been really quiet the air i can tell that the kids of the um the adult babysitting school service uh, which is CNN, BBC, ABC, NBC, and all of the other 75 newscasters that are reporting on just one thing. What I mean is, uh, yeah, they, anyway, um, I think people are just relaxing into something. Really, I can't imagine not, um, just throwing in the towel to the illusion generating place um, projector system and reeling suggester system, right? Um, it's uh, there's a lot of frequencies in the air that that needs to come up, on, and we need to talk about that more. Um, people like me can feel it big time. You know, we're not so busy and not so um, sidetracked and whew, ears ringing like crazy. It's because the EMF waves in the air. Now, if it's um, in conjunction with the solar flares, can you imagine this? You know, that why, how are they able to do that? Put up all those satellites without the solar flares uh, getting so intensely involved with them, maybe. It, it's happening on the earth here that, you know, that's where I question, you know, it's like, oh yeah. It's possible that, that they um, control those cameras that point at the sun, because who does, babe? Do you? That's the thing, you want to be careful of the projector system that controls what you see, and they'll do CGI. Yes. If it's not your ability, um, 
as boots on the ground who can do an algorithmic play of 45 million people saying, no, this is what we see as the same thing. Instead of the same thing, trying to, trying to, um, the same eye, like the same suggestion that said, no, we see this over here. See, it's not the real thing. It's, it's saying that we see this for you when it's not seeing it for people. It's not their own camera. You see what I'm saying? Suggesting something that it's like, well, maybe. And uh, see, that's huge. It, it, it's just fascinating that we all ended up with the camera, right? And the really high definition kind of and good sound. And what's it for? Babes, there is a spiritual war there on the planet. And when you say spiritual, it's like, well, how fucking vague and eye roll too, and all of the just taboo can you get, right? What is it really? What is it? What are we saying? Intergalactic, interdimensional. Yes, inter intergalactic, interdimensional, planetary. Um, and, and there's an outer space. And the cameras, babes, the cameras are pointing in the outer space. See, you just, you don't count that space right in between your nose and the hand bit, you know, you don't count that. There's space right there. There's, there it is. And so there it is. See, it's between my head and there. And you have access to outer space and i i've talked you talking like this on the on facebook and people think well probably think oh and this person's like really weird or, or but but no it's it's okay to use that kind of language to point at reality reality itself reality is what is the nature of it well that's exactly it people do not know what reality is and it's important to talk about it. It's one of the biggest, most important things ever. That's what the Buddhists are trying to do for the, for the, thank God for them. It's like, wow, we can, impl we can apply this to everything, can we? Yeah, um, mainly, um, yeah, it helps with, helps us with the so-called truth. You know, how does it, how does it help us? Well, we can check in, we can have a re reality check. See, there you go. It's like, well, um, well, what does reality tell us? It says that there are characters and there's also just, see, it's sound. You can hear the characters within them. They can say something with their voices. There's talking. Imagine that, kids. See, we are um, trying to get across that, you know what? Words are not in control here. No, nope. If, you, if that's a big deal, you know, the, the abracadabra needs not be something that is hiding off in the shadows and is covered up by people saying, I mean, really is being covered by, I mean, really backed up and it's kind of shining its teeth over there because people say, no, um, they really are um, screwing their relationships up, I guess, by what is said rather than what is done, right? And um, so to put people on mute and watch actions, namely body language towards you only, imagine that kind of life, kids. God. That would just totally... It would scare you because you realize you don't really have anybody. I mean, maybe one or two, and what the hell is that? You know what I mean? Like, uh... Thanks for listening to that. Um, with the Mars transits, we always have a question of what is reality because it's the I am, and it's always going to be like this. Uh, we got to see with Saturn squaring it um, it's going to be we're going to refine 
what we know about our bodily arena. And it's in Gemini, so there's a lot of communications about it. Um, yeah, we can just continue on here. It's still going to go. It's unbelievable. It's going to still go. Um, just that's a that's a very um we'll just go for the first half of the well the two weeks here what we experience down on this well it's the 15th and 16th in the middle of August here is and so as it's barely the 27th now I mean people it, it, you know I it's best to learn to love each other and be there for each other and uh Because it could get kind of difficult, you know, we need to be able to, we should take care of each other, just take the, the initiate, the initiative, I guess I would say. Um, with it, pardon me, oh, you see Jupiter is, is squaring Saturn now. And while well, it's getting closer and closer, and, and it will do an exact mundo right with Mars at 20, uh, at, um, I'm sorry, at 16, 17 degrees. And um, it's financial stress. It, yeah, you know, and uh, I was doing that, doing this last time. I'm, I'm actually going through um, something I don't want to really want to talk about. Um, most likely to see, because I am humanity, it's good to talk about it. People, you know, with Pluto going back, we need to talk about that because it's going to be squaring. Um, well, it doesn't square. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Ooh, it's it. See, it's going into Capricorn again. It's a big, big thing for everybody. It doesn't matter if it's hitting a sign. I mean, it does. I mean, what I mean, it, if it's aspecting a planet in the sky, but it's aspecting the Libra generation and the Cardinals one more time, and it definitely squares my Mercury Uranus conjunction. And I'm grateful for the support that I have right now that I'm actually um, very confused. Let's just put it that way. And no, I think that I'm being kind of Mars diplomatic, like the, like let's look at that, you know, that. Uh, but don't you think everybody needs to to sort out this? Well, certainly. Now let's talk about the parties that are doing the political par arena, the whole world, whatever. Do um, money is a cult system. It's, it's a literal, it, you know, the institution, if you want to call it an institution, it's really a cult. It creates now the worst of it, the, the, that um, the unsuspecting, I don't know, but not unsuspecting, no, no. There is, is it, okay, is, I mean, comment section down below. Isn't there the materialist kind of the people like this? They are, um, let's look what now, who are the military? You know, we hate them because... They use all of our money just to go and do what? Destroy the environment and mangle everybody's bodies and blah, blah, blah. So, so yeah, money is is like this thing on the planet. It's like, woo, that's very unfortunate the way it turned into something unfortunate. Um, it says, in God we trust on it. Sorry, I'm just bantering now. And I, babes, I've been working some things out. I've been looking at it again. Of course, we want to find out, like, what, what's that media on there that says, in God we trust? We need to start finding out what is being said and what we mean. And uh, is it possible that there's a reverse? How about that? You know, we talk about reverse. What do we mean? Are, do, are you really talking about something going backwards? Because no, there's there's the word verse in it, and then um, there's um, re. It means do it again, and uh, verse is the universe. See, and uh, I mean, why doesn't it say? Oh, pardon me. Why doesn't it say in the universe we trust? 
um, just I was I was saying earlier how there's outer space, the final frontier, and isn't that the universe? You know, technically, you know, because we look at it, what what do we mean? Well, we go way out there and we see, we continue to see objects, but where is it? It's an outer space. That's the way you contemplate it, and and with a telescope. Um. So, yeah, thanks for listening, you guys. I'm I'm kind of burnt out now. I mean, pray for me. I um, was hoping to put my address up again and try to ra raise money. I, I uh, I'm experiencing something very interesting. See, I um I didn't do the cash app and Vinnie Mio and PayPal because I, I just don't want them to hook up, up up anything of my information just yet. You know, I've probably held off and I'm probably one of the only, like how many percentage of people do not have it all? See, I don't do anything online. I do not shop online. You know, it, it increased when the C-19 was announced of course, remember when it became a big thing to just start getting delivery service? It didn't do anything for me. I mean, people did send me some stuff. I think it's because they were just broke into it. And they're like, yeah, we've been doing that. See, this block alone began to get more UPS trucks than ever before in the history of the rocks sitting there. Because I know what's been going on here, babe. And, oh, yeah, no, you for sure you know that it was just swarming for the past three or four years and um especially here is why it's like well of course that's what's happened oh, oh. sorry not here not here i would love see i i'm just kind of um believe it or not i mean you know i, I even though i'm doing these videos and stuff i mean really i'm doing the minimal um, amount of, I do not play any of their games. I'm making it so that they try and, you know, they, they grab information of the narcissist videos and they make sure it goes out. Who are they? I was trying to tell you about that there's an intergalactic monitor and then there is the, see, that's, those are benevolent beings. And then there's the malevolent screen that, okay, so, um, Pardon me while I'm losing my train of thought. Um, I'm supposed to uh, give, be channeling some important inf important information for people here, um, but I'm being um, I'm being um, distracted by worries monetarily, and it does affect. It's well, and also see, I am um, I have um, I do have a love life, right? Right. Everybody has a love life. It's not talking necessarily about people, 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 right? You know, you can almost say that they kind of entangle with that. It has to be the certain thing where it's allowing what I mean, you know, it's a delicacy, right? That somebody is actually there for the thing that you love in yourself. And I hate to sound like this is a big subject matter, but no, um, see, True love is, is people that love the things that you love about yourself. Yes or no? Um, and I didn't just say that we're being selfish and I just took everything from them, all the love and attention. No, you're sharing. You love that they love you and uh, you have something in common, which is could be the thing that's between you is the thing that you love. Like for me, I do. I, I, I love my music. I love gardening. I love... Um, the wilderness, I love. Um, I love just love, you know. It's like, well, isn't that something between us? Um, how about that? Did you get and see? Now, what is that? Well, there's, now the word involved comes to mind. And if you look at the word involved, um, switch it around, you know, but but you can't. There's an R reversal rule that needs to um, be applied. But So it's just involved, sorry. I could be wrong, but no, no, in love, right? Involved or in love, 
Um, it's there. Evolved to has it there. Um, it, but involved, you know, that's what um, love knows how to do. It really uh, solves. And it's talking about solving the problems and seeing, seeing knows how to see. You know, it's definitely heart matter, but it's. A, see the word ear is in there but it's able to hear in such a way you know you think about you have a drum in your ear that vibrates and so that's a, 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 a phenomenon to consider what exactly the heart is uh, up to um, it's uh, um, able to tap in electromagnetically to the entire plasmatic field here, the outer space. And that's why you want to meditate. You want to um, give yourself space and time. More like a lot of space, quiet time. Peaceful. To tap into whatever it is you need to know. If you have a question, um, something confusing you, especially, you know, you, uh, you just need to be able to get into that quiet space and time meditation is what it's called and you can you can totally just it's tough you know if you haven't done it and see that's why it's dangerous for your average roman catholic to practice meditation is because um so much of what possesses them has to come out and that's basically the mind and their bad po programming and it swirls around them, and they're just like, oh, I had to deal with the... Uh. Yeah, they're stuck having to deal with their shadow, I guess. You know, and it, mainly this is an inability to um, relax, perhaps. You know, a lot of people are hardly doing it for 20 minutes. And anyway, thanks for listening to this. Because the saying goes, um, well, if you if you find yourself that you can't relax and you can hardly meditate for 20 minutes, then um, that's okay. Just meditate for an hour. Thanks for listening and watching this. Congrats to me. I actually changed the angle of my camera. Um, um, uh, I'm, I'm one of these people that, um, well... I need to take my own self out and um, shake off the EMF, you know, encapsulation. I mean, but uh, we might, it's probably better off that we stay in an inter inner sanctuary. It doesn't take very far for me to go. I just walk outside my house and, and meditate on the ground there and do some grounding. And it feels 100% beautiful. Um, it's just a time with with the Mars conjunct Saturn and how it feels and everything. It's a time, especially with the Mercury going retrograde right before August 4th, 6th, um, going back into Leo, even though we get a taste of the Mercury in Virgo, which is highly analytical, very, it's just going to look and see every little detail and want to solve a problem, and we can, and it's going to be interesting. Um, it, it is a time for um, disciplinary actions and stuff like this to come up. And uh, that will come up in the middle of the month. We'll see what, how it affects the collective and what goes on, especially media-wise, because it is media-ruled and or Mercury-ruled. You know, it's very communicative. And hey, wow, 44 minutes. I'll stop this at um, 44 and 22, and I hope you enjoy this little um, bit um, uh, going through... Um, like I said, the stress, um, I tend to worry about way too much. Um, and, uh, I think that it can change for me that, uh, well, I'll stop this at minute 44 and 44. I think it can change for me that I get a little, um, like if I hand up, I put up a hat and say, Hey, donations, because the hard times I'm going through, it's different right now with the uh, financing and where I'm at, it didn't go very smooth for, for me anyway. Thank you.